Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool pop-in freeze frame effect right here. So as you can see, this is what the effect looks like. You can see the second clip starts to pop in right there and then it'll transition into the second clip right there. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to create a freeze frame of the second clip right here. So as you can see right here, here is a second clip. Now what you want to do is you want to head over to the re timing option. You want to click on hold right here. And then basically what you're just doing right here is you want to click on here. You want to split the freeze frame and the normal clip. And then what you want to do is you want to take the freeze frame and you want to adjust it to about 10 15 frames now once you have that freeze frame you want to go ahead and drag the freeze frame on top right here and that's basically what this second clip is um, right here this second clip right here is a freeze frame and this freeze frame is a frozen frame from the beginning of the second clip right there and that's how you create the first part this right here this clip right here is just a freeze frame um, from the second clip a frozen frame the first frozen frame from the second clip now once you have the freeze frame um, on top of this first clip right here and again I held this at 10 frames you may want to hold it at three or five frames but it depends on what look you want depending on how fast or how slow you want the transition to be the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to the effects panel right here and you're going to go down until you find mask and you're going to apply a draw mask right here as you can see right here we'll a draw mask to this freeze frame as you can see here are the three draw masks right here so I'll go ahead and just go right here as you can see right here there are three draw masks on Kyler Murray right here so all you want to do is just cut out the freeze frame so I'll go ahead and just turn it off right here as you can see this is what it looks like so I literally just cut out Kyler Murray now the next thing you're going to do is once you have the draw mask is now you want to keyframe the scale so once you have the freeze frame selected you want to go over to the inspector window right here and you want to head over to transform you want to go to scale and you want to turn the scale down to zero percent once the scale is at zero percent you want to start to keyframe the scale right here so it has to be at zero percent and then keyframe the scale then what you want to do is you want to go to the end of this freeze frame head back over to the inspector window right here and as you can see right here it is keyframe so let's go to the end right here and head over to the inspector window right here and as you can see the scale is keyframed to 125 percent so i'll try to basically go through and show you the scale so you can watch it um, being keyframed so let's go over here as you can see right here the scale is at zero percent next frame 12 percent 25 37 50 62 75 87 100 and then 112 and then 125 and there you go so that's literally all you're doing is you're literally just scaling the draw mask right here and then boom you transition in the second clip and that's why this clip right here this frozen frame is the first frame from the B from the second clip right here that way it'll be easy to transition and there we go you just start and the video will keep on going so that's pretty much how you create it you have two clips you want a frozen frame you want to create a freeze frame from the first frame of the second clip right here as you can see right here this clip is a um, freeze frame so this clip right here is a, a frozen frame from the second clip then all you want to do is just cut out the subject using a draw mask and then after that all you're doing is just keyframing the scale so the subject will get bigger and bigger and bigger until all of a sudden it'll transition into the second clip anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you knew this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace